How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to convert an HTML5 canvas to an image. Um, so this is going to be really useful when you want your user to obviously save a copy of your canvas. Um, so we're going to be doing two things here. Uh, once we've converted to an image, we're going to be able to display um, the canvas content inside a regular HTML image tag and we're also going to be able to automatically download the image as either a JPEG or a PNG. So let's go inside the editor right here and we can begin with this code here. So essentially um, on that page just there, I've got a canvas right here um, and of course we have uh, those two buttons on top to display and then download the image. We've also got the canvas itself, um, the image in which the content of the canvas is going to be displayed inside. Um, and inside the JavaScript, we have a reference to all of um, those elements, like the two buttons up here, the image and the canvas, and down here, of course, I'm just drawing um, that red decode text and the red rectangle. So, let's begin first um, on displaying the canvas content inside this image tag right here. So let's go down here and add an event listener for the BTN display um, button. So I can simply just say btn display dot add event listener. We're going to of course listen for the click event and run this function inside here. Um, so basically, the way it's going to work is we're going to be converting the canvas content into a data URI. And basically, a data URI is a base64 encoded string representing the actual content of the canvas. Um, so I can say here const data URI is equal to uh, my canvas dot to data URL. Okay, so uh, this method right here is going to create a data URI for um, the canvas. Okay, so then I'm going to say console.log data URI so we can see what's actually happening. So I'm going to save this and refresh the browser. Inside the console, if I press on the display button, we get here the base64 string for the image content. And we can see here by default it is an image slash PNG file. Um, so if I was to click on this, we see um, in a new tab we have the content as a PNG. So it's working just fine. So now it's as easy as simply setting the source of the image tag to be the data URI. So I can go back inside here and I can simply just say uh, image converted dot SRC short for source is equal to data URI. So I can save this, refresh the browser and click on the display button and now of course we have here um, a PNG image displayed inside the image tag. And I can of course right click this, I can save, I can copy etc. And um, we can see if I was to inspect it we have here the base64 string as the source of the image tag right there. So it's super easy to do and I believe this works across all major browsers including Internet Explorer. Um, I can just confirm this right now. Let's go back to, uh, let's go sorry, inside Internet Explorer here. Refresh this page, press on display and it works just fine in Internet Explorer. So there you go. Um, so back inside Chrome um, sorry, inside the uh, text editor. Um, what you can do here also is you can actually uh, specify whether to uh, create a JPEG or a PNG. So for example, I can go inside here um, in the to data URL method and I can say uh, image slash JPEG to create a JPEG instead of a PNG. So PNG is default with no arguments. I can save this, refresh Chrome once again, press display and now it is a JPEG version of um, that canvas. Okay, cool. So um, that is all for the displaying. Let's move on now to the download functionality. So uh, inside the text editor, once again, uh, let's just uh, create an event listener for the BTN download button. So I can say here, add event listener, once again, on a click event. So here, it's going to work in a very similar fashion, although uh, we need to do different things depending if we're using Internet Explorer or Edge or using uh, Chrome, Firefox, etc. So um, that's because, of course, uh, Internet Explorer and Edge uh, don't support the download of data URIs. So uh, essentially, let's just first uh, write the code for the IE slash Edge support. 
And uh, this is going to be PNG only. Unfortunately, uh, from what I can see, from what I've researched, uh, Chrome, uh, sorry, uh, Internet Explorer or Edge using this method are unable to support anything but PNG. But I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty confident uh, based on my own research. So we can say here if window.navigator.msave uh, blob. So I believe here um, this. Uh, this me uh, uh, this method right here, MS Save Blob, is exclusive to Internet Explorer and Edge. So basically, we're checking if basically this browser is uh, Internet Explorer or Edge, then we can run this code right here. It's going to be window dot navigator dot MS Save Blob, and uh, essentially this is going to this is going to download um, um, a blob. So what we can do is we can say my canvas dot ms2 blob and this ms2 blob method is going to of course uh, convert the canvas content into a blob all right and then we can say as a second argument here the name of the downloaded file so i can say here for example canvas dash image dot png all right and that is all we're basically saving a blob the blob is going to come from the canvas right there it's going to be called canvas image.png and of course it's going to be PNG only. So I can save this, go inside Internet Explorer, uh, refresh here, press download. We can see here, do you want to save canvas image.png from this website? I can press save right here and I can open it and uh, we can see here, we get the image right there working perfectly fine as a PNG file. Okay, cool. Um, so that is the Internet Explorer support. Um, so when it comes to the Chrome support, um, what you can do is you can just say, or oh, sorry, Chrome or Firefox, etc. Uh, basically, I believe anything but Internet Explorer. Uh, what you can do is you can. Uh, it's actually quite a bit more complicated in terms of lines of code. Um, so basically, you make a new anchor tag. So I can say here, const a is equal to document dot element. Um, going to create an anchor tag right there, an A tag, and basically we're going to be setting the source of the A tag to be the data URI. From there, we're going to set the download attribute um, to specify the image uh, file name, and then we're going to virtually click on it using JavaScript. So we can say here, uh, document.body.append child, we can append the anchor element right there. And then we can say a.href is equal to my canvas dot to data URL once again. Okay. And we can say a dot download is equal to uh, canvas image dot png. And we can say a dot click. So this is going to virtually click on the anchor tag for us in JavaScript. Um, and this is of course going to enable the automatic functionality. And we can say here document dot uh, uh, body dot remove child. We're gonna we're gonna remove um, the anchor tag once we're finished with it. So um, that's that right there. And um, I believe um, in Chrome you can actually uh, have no need to append to the body. Um, but I found in Firefox if you don't append and then remove, then um, the download won't actually work. So we have all this code uh, right here, and um, uh, I'm also going to save this and refresh the browser in Chrome and test it out. I'll press download right here and we get the image downloaded right there. I can open it and once again it works just fine. All right. Um, and of course uh, you can also do things like passing uh, passing image slash JPEG. It works exactly the same. And I can change this to be JPEG and of course it's going to download JPEG. Um, but uh, what I did forget to mention is when using the image slash JPEG option, you can also specify um, the quality in which the image will be uh, displayed as or uh, saved as. So I can add a second argument here, and this argument is for the quality. So it goes from, I believe, 0 to 1, and the default is 0 0.92. So for example, if I was to say uh, 0 0.1 quality for the JPEG, I can save this and uh, refresh here, uh, press on download, open it up, we can see now it is a very uh, poor quality JPEG image, okay? Um, but to be honest, uh, given the fact that uh, using this method, uh, you know, and Internet Explorer only supports PNG, 
you're probably better off for consistency across all browsers just simply saving um, as a PNG. Okay, and that is how you can convert a uh, HTML5 canvas into a image using JavaScript. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.